It's that trap house, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't. Copyright disclosure for Mind Your Business TV. All content, including but not limited to text, images, audio, video, and graphics, on Mind Your Business TV is the intellectual property of Mind Your Business TV, its affiliates, or its content creators, unless otherwise stated. Unauthorized reproduction, distribution, or modification of any content on this platform without prior written permission from Mind Your Business TV is strictly prohibited and may result in legal action. Fair Use Disclaimer Mind Your Business TV respects and abides by the provisions of the Fair Use Act under Section 107 of the U.S. Copyright Act. Under this act, copyrighted material may be used for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. This use is limited to non-commercial purposes and must comply with fair use standards, including the purpose, nature, amount, and effect of use on the original work's market value. For any questions or requests regarding the use of Mind Your Business TV content, please contact us directly. Introduction for the podcast episode. Welcome to Mind Your Business TV's phone call podcast with your host, Big Fred. This is where real stories meet raw conversations. And today we're kicking off with an exciting first case that's bound to resonate. Joining us is Big Facts, an artist from the Dallas area who now resides in Palestine, Texas. Big Facts is here to break down his journey in rap, sharing stories from his life and the realities that shape his music. But it's more than just beats and rhymes. He's diving into how his storytelling reflects the struggles, triumphs, and lessons we all can learn from. So buckle up, because this is going to be a deep and honest look at how music impacts life and how life inspires music. Let's get into it. I'm about to do a little intro right quick and let people know what they're listening to. I'm showing something new called the Phone Call Podcast, where I call local artists or local people who are doing their thing, you feel me, who right. don't have the ability to pull up, pull out a camera. So sometimes I think the phone conversation can be better than the actual podcast. So just something new I'm trying. So I'm happy to have you on. The phone call podcast. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But hey, it is. I want to show the work, you know. I want the world to know who 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 I'm on the phone with. Right. Yeah, just, go ahead. Yeah. Oh well, you know. Uh, my rap name, you know, what I'm saying is uh Big Facts. You know, what I'm saying and a lot of people ask me, uh, why I come with that is because I feel like. Uh, everything I rap about is, you know, truth telling in some way. Uh, I was born in Dallas. Uh, I was raised in East Texas, Palestine, 903. And then I came, went back to Dallas for a little bit. And then by 08, I came to Houston just to get, uh, my shit together. I feel like you 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 moved and never looked back. You remember no Palestinian don't be crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I got a little country boy in me. You feel me? So yeah. But my teacher, John, she moved us to uh, Palestine because you know when we stand in Dallas, South Dallas, you know my older siblings they was getting in a lot of shit. So she called herself trying to move there. But hell, we got it. Seemed like we got it more shit down there than we did in the city. Yes, sir. Well, you know, the only thing when I think about Palestine is journey. Oh, yeah, yeah. They got all of them now, yeah. You journey, Beto. Yeah. Who the hell I got down there, bro? Oh, uh, what are you talking about? Prison wise or just other than that? Prison wise. You're, you're other than uh, prison. Nigga. Oh, yeah, because, you know, I'm, I'm going to be real. I ain't never been to prison. You know what I'm saying? Been to jail plenty of time. I ain't never been to prison. Thank God. I ain't trying to go. You feel me? So that's why I try to stay in my lane when it comes to this music stuff. But, uh, Don, I mean, you, I mean, right now, man, I'm, I ain't gonna, I mean, you know, I really, I don't want to say because I ain't trying to 
put it in a bad light, but it ain't like it used to be, if that makes sense. You know what I'm so saying? Like, was, bro, it's not like it used to be, so you got to talk about why it's not like it used to be. It's not like it used to be because boys just don't, they don't come out. You know what I'm saying? Like, it used to be like, man, you, man, I used to leave the city just to go down there and turn up. You know what I'm saying? Because it was just so much love and, and, and so, you know, embracing because everybody know everybody. But, you know, now boys don't want to go out, you know, even when they, uh, try to open up a club, you know, people don't go support it just to have something to do on the weekend, you know what I'm saying? Basically just everybody just chill at the house, barbecue, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that, but they don't just get out no more, you know what I'm saying? Just more everybody in the... In the we, we, we all, bro. That's yeah. all people do, bro. See, you, see, 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 what you're saying is like, the type of music, bro, look, I'm going to tell you, bro, the type of music I get from you, bro, is like how you got black folks music, you got black folks rap. You feel me? Right. So when you listen to you, you can incorporate that in your videos. You can incorporate what you're talking about. Because you know what I'm saying? Sometimes people need reminders, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people need reminders. Like, bro, basically what you're saying is y'all can live y'all life the barbecue in the pit in the, back, in the front yard. I ain't just see it. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So, so like, here, yeah, yeah. It ain't like it used to be, bro. Right. Like, I remember back in the day. I remember back in the day, bro, on a Saturday, bro. On a Saturday, bro, and I hear my grandfather start playing some fucking Johnny Taylor, bro. I know that well, pit is about to be fired up, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, we smelling the wood burning. You hear me? Mm-hmm. So, 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 you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, so. When you hit it, when you, you write, bro, people don't do that no more. People ask funny. Family ain't family no more. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Yeah. Back do in that. the day, family used to be, bro, that's how you know. That's how you know. Everything, if, if it's more than one person saying this shit, that's how you know. Right. Right. That's you know. how you know. Yo, and 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 the, and the clubs, and I get it, the club scene ain't like it used to be because everything is a, get a section people on their phones, you know what I'm saying? It, it's not like it, you know, back then, you know, you every club had a dance floor, you feel me? Right. Everybody going to dance once that one particular song come on or whatever, but now it's just, everybody's just chilling, you know what I'm saying? So I guess that's a lot of reason why people don't, don't go, because they're like, hey, I can do that at the crib, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can get a drink, you know what I'm saying, and chill at the crib and get on my phone, but, you know, you know. it's, not, it's not that fun. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I, man, you, bro, you know when the last time I've been out, bro? When was that? Four years ago. Yo. The last I, time I've been in the street, bro, went to a club, went to a party. Yeah, it's I been a little... It's been uh, a little minute. It's been a little minute for me, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know... It's been a little minute for me. I can't even lie on that. But you say I ain't gonna lie to you. You know why? I find my purpose. And when you find your purpose, you gotta dedicate all your time to your purpose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So regardless, of, regardless of how hard it is, um, LeBron, bro, you gotta still fight for your purpose of what you're supposed to be here to do. You know what I'm saying? Yes, so it's like, so sometimes it's like when I start to learn about the music scene and how music plays into our culture, it's like, nigga, music was always used to educate our people because that's the only thing mm -hmm. to pay attention to. Right. So, so when you really just look at the whole situation, if you got a message, or you can say, like, let's be real about it. But right. I know you personally, bro. So with that yeah. being said, it's like, if you get that type of money, you're going to be a nigga that's going to pull up and help the hood, bro. We don't yes, have we don't have people and like if we had some of these all these music how how the hood support these music artists bro if they turn around and help the hood bro I'm talking about all of them right if they turn around and help the hood bro we would not have to depend on the government bro they can create funding bro see right. they can take this uh, like you know what I'm saying like so when you get these artists bro that does stuff bro they want to like I told Rose the other day I said. The rap game look like the Hunger Games to me. 
I feel like I'm. Yeah. I, I, I really. I feel like I'm living in the Hunger Games, bro. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, it's like you know, when you look at it, it's about what you're trying to do. So like when I get on that hole and I talk, bro, I get on that hole and I talk like on some. I'm I'm really out here living that shit. You feel me? Right. Right. I'm out here really living that shit. So, you know, my conversation going to be different from somebody else's conversation. So, right. like, that's why I know when we talking about what, what you got going on is important, bro. Because right. now, in this day and time, they're not looking at the, um, how can I say, they ain't listening to the rap. They listen to the rap. They're looking at the person, too. Right. So, so, sometimes your personality, in this day and time, your personality can overshadow Yo, what your rap shit is? You feel me? Look at Gorilla. People right. listen to her because it's like her attitude, like how she carry herself. Like, bro, don't forget who you are, type person. Exactly. Exactly. So, right. so besides that, what like what type of stuff? Like, so when you rap, what you rap? Like, what you speak about? I speak, man. I'm not gonna lie, like. And I tell the you know, I'm I, when I I speak about what's going on. I speak about situations. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I have I have uh I have one song, you know, it's called Respectfully. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I was I was brought up in that area where respect to get you a long ways. You know what I'm saying? And I was taught to respect everybody. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care if you're the top on the top or you're on the bottom. I feel you still deserve that respect to 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 otherwise, to sh- till you show disrespect. You see what I'm saying? So, I, yeah, so I, I speak on that respectfully. I got one song, uh, Where Are We Going?, Speaking on relationships, you know, when you can be in a relationship, you don't, you know, you don't know where the relationship going. You want it to go where to to forever, but right now, how is it how is it going? It look like where we might be ending any day now. You know what I'm saying? So I speak on relationships. I speak on uh, I just speak on like real stuff. Like I don't try to go. I don't speak on nothing. I don't. I don't feel, you know what I'm saying, or I ain't doing, you know what I'm saying, so you'll never hear my raps go to the streets, because I'm not in the streets no more, you see what I'm saying, I might speak about the streets or how it was when I was in it, or what happened when I was when I was in it, but I'm not speaking on it for the presence, and I try to stay away from any type of gangster-like, you know, street-like music, you know what I'm saying, because I understand now as I got older that what you what you speak come into existence. You see what I'm saying? So if I speak on some gangster shit, understand that, that that might come your way. You know what I'm saying? Because it's real everywhere. You see what I'm saying? Like I done been I done been to Palestine in the hood. I done been to Tyler, Texas in the hood. I done been to Oak Cliff in the hood. I done been to Houston in the hood. But what I learned is it's hood everywhere. So you better, yeah, it's hood everywhere. So you better have some respect. You see what I'm saying? Because, you know, you got a lot of boys, they feel like they hood is harder than anybody else hood. And it ain't. You know what I'm saying? And you might be good in your hood. You see what I'm saying? Because I have a kinfolk man, like, that thing was like, and probably still is now, one of the biggest in Dallas. You feel what I'm saying? But even he told me. And that's why I'm like, I know he told me, he said, if you don't know nobody over there, what you going over there for? You see what I'm saying? I want, so you, hold on. I want you to rewind. I don't, understand. I don't want you to understand because I want you to understand what this interview going. You feel me? Well, it's right. people from everywhere that listen to this, bro. So the last cover that you just said about what's the biggest, I want you to repeat that so they can hear you, bro. Right. Which, which part about it's hood and every. No, no, not hood. Well, you say you know one of the biggest in Dallas. Yo, like I, my my team who one of the biggest, and I don't want to. I say Kim folk. I don't want to put his name out there. Don't you see what I'm saying? Because the simple fact, 
he still, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. I don't want to say he's still in. I don't want to say he's not. But he was that dude. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why I know he was that dude because I was in the in the hood. I was Zane, and it was this blood, blood cat. You feel me? And I spoke to him. You know, because Dallas, Dallas and Houston is different. Dallas is not a friendly city. Houston is, but let me let me let me let me reiterate. Let me bro, go ahead. Check. You don't got right. Dallas, Dallas, right? But yo, Dallas is a not a friendly not a friendly city. Houston is, but don't get it twisted. Just because they friendly, don't mean they won't get on your ass in Houston. You see what I'm saying? They just got hot hospitality. Dallas ain't ain't like that. They the type of person you don't know them. Don't speak to them. That's that's their mentality. Because they, they'll look at you like, nigga, what? So basically, it was a blood nigga that was there. And I was like, I was like, shit, what's up, bro? You know, because I just moved in that hood, that neighborhood. And I was like, what's up? That nigga looked me up and down like. So I'm like, man, fuck you then, nigga. So I ain't speak to the nigga no more. You feel me? One day I had got locked up. My kinfolk come pick me up. Fucked up thing is he ended up getting locked up too, coming to pick me up. So he had to burn himself out and me out. You know what I'm saying? So when he come to drop me off, he's like, all right, kinfolk. I said, all right, kinfolk, I'll holler at you. And I get out the car. He knew who my kinfo was, just, you know what I'm saying, because his car, and he, you know what I'm saying, and he came to me, and he's like, who was, was that, such and such? I said, yo. I said, oh, that's my kinfo. He said, for real? He's like, yo. Ever since that day, that nigga had let me come in this house, nigga, I'm talking about, nigga, if I needed some drugs to sell, if I needed whatever, nigga, go in the house, play video games, just for him knowing, knowing that that was my kinfo, I was good. You know what I'm saying? So, because of that, I learned what that respect gets you. You see what I'm saying? But I also learned that I can't let because of his respect that he got in the hood to be out here disrespecting people because of his name. Because some people, were, you know what I'm saying? Like some, you know, like some people have have that family member that they know got clout and they take advantage of his clout and try to use it to their advantage by disrespecting others and thinking because of that, oh, they won't get on your ass. You see what I'm saying? So I always knew never to, you know, Pretty overuse. A real person uh, in a real situation, bro. Understood, bro. <laughs> look, bro, bro, bro. Hey, look. See, this is what I'm going to tell people, right? It's like, bro. I want people like you. Yesterday, I saw my nigga, you know what I'm saying? For the past two days, I just saw my nigga, you feel me? So, like, so look, so, I'm I'm listening to the nigga. Yesterday, I'm listening to the nigga in the car. I'm saying, ooh, ooh, because he's, he, like, he a hop, he's from that area. So, he can tell you about their whole bills. Right. Their whole bills. Right. Because, like he said, because just like he said, Houston, with. We cool, bro. We laid back out here. Play up. Play up. But Dallas and, like, Fort Worth, they are gang cities. Yes. It's yes. Like, not trying, and you know how I found out about their culture? Being locked up in the pen. Mm-hmm. They're like, in the pen, you, them Dallas niggas ain't, bro. You got some, but look, let me tell you something about Dallas niggas, bro. They got some good niggas out there, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They got some good niggas out there because I told you that shit yesterday. I was mm -hmm. cool with a nigga from South Dallas, bro. I was cool. I was cool with a um, nigga from Fort Worth, bro. Like, right. oh, my mama. Oh, my mama. I remember one time, nigga used to come up, bro. Nigga said, just the funk, nigga. Ain't the funk. The funk don't got shit to do with Dallas. Yeah. Nigga, we, used to, we used to bust yeah. out laughing, nigga. Mm -hmm. like, I was cool with a, a couple of South Dallas niggas in that house, bro. So, like, no, bro. It's like, it's real niggas everywhere, but it's the demographic and how... Niggas, I ain't gonna lie to you. When you talking about Texas, Bank and State, Texas, Bank and City, that's them. Like, right. Right. Houston, Houston, you ain't gonna no, Houston, Houston will in certain areas, though. In okay. certain areas. Yeah, in certain areas. Because I, I, like, I ain't not like, because when I came to Houston, I came, I came, I'm Southwest. I've been Southwest. You know, I was in Houston in 01 with my sister. We was on Beach Nut and Corporate. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right there across from Woodfell. So, it's, you know, Spice Lane. I've been back then, Spice Lane. You know, nigga, this is real nigga. You tell me, say, bro, don't come over here. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's some spots. You know what I'm saying? But when my partner took me to Fifth Ward, 
MLK. I ain't gonna lie. When I went over there, I said, "God damn, this shit remind me of Dallas right here." You see what I'm saying? Like that shit reminded me so much. It looked just like Dallas, Oak Cliff. You know what I'm saying? Cause like a lot of people say they from Dallas, but nigga, oh, was you in Dallas? See, I was in Oak Cliff. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't on no outskirts, DeSoto, Duncanville, Arlington. Er, I know I was in Oak Cliff. You know what I'm saying? Sano, uh, uh, right there, nigga, right there, 35, where, where uh, Mo3 got, got killed, nigga. I roll up and down that street all the time. Big T. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Alaska. You know what I'm saying? I led better the beltway. So I was really in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, in there for real, like uh, Glendale Park over there in that area. Cause my partner, he he a he a crip. You know what I'm saying? So he he was he was opposite of me. He was born in Palestine, raised in Dallas. I was born in Dallas, raised in Palestine. Then we ended up meeting meeting, and then started get clicking up and getting cool. You see what I'm saying? So he showed me the Dallas. The new area of Dallas, because when I was in Dallas, I was younger. So when I came back, he showed me around. You see what I'm saying? But, yo, know, it's Dallas is just like that, bro. But one thing I tell you, when they, if they fuck with you, if they decide to fuck with you, they the most loyal, solid friend you ever have. You know what I'm saying? Like, they the most loyal, solid friend. If they decide to bring you in, man, one thing you ain't never got to worry about them is being, being no, no snake. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you, know, you know, I can tell you that. You know, I can tell you what you said is real, bro. Because they media scene, bro. They media yeah. scene, bro. They media scene, bro. Like, not trying to be funny. Houston, we try to play catch up. But Dallas is where it's at for, like, any. I, I, I got to give Dallas they props. I got to give that region they props, bro, when it comes down to media because they held Texas down. They held Texas down to the point where Dallas. Um, media, and I'm talking about they young media, they they freelancers, bro. They brought right. they brought the life to Texas. They made they made people pay attention to Texas. So one thing about it is, uh, that's why I I don't be for nobody because I'm cool with Dallas media. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about the bloggers and all that shit. I'm cool right. with you know what I'm saying with them. You know what I'm saying because we got to get connected. So I, I really I, they connected. I I respect that. Right. So, 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 when you came to Houston, bro, you said you was on a bro. Then they said corporate and fucking. I would like in my head, I would never move over there. But see, you gotta understand. You gotta understand that was that was all once. I came to Houston. My sister, see my my sister stayed there. You feel what I'm saying? So when I came up here with my sister, that's what she was saying, and she knew all of. Them. She was that. She was that. You know what I'm saying? Like, she she ain't fuck with no square-ass nigga. If you wasn't about that nigga, you couldn't come around her. You know what I'm saying? She was that. So when I came in, I was good because of her. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that, 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 that's, Trina, that's Trina, little brother. So I was good. You see what I'm saying? As soon as I walked in the door, you know, it was a nigga named Pappy. I don't know. People might not know him. Uh, people might know him, but it was a nigga named Pappy. And it was some niggas that was hating on me behind this female and they was talking about jumping me. You feel me? And he and my and me, I didn't tell my sister, I'm like, man, I ain't worried about them niggas, whatever, it's whatever. But my sister got a whiff of it. And when she got a whiff of it, she got mad. Cause you know my sister did not play about me. And I know people like, yo sister, yeah, my sister was that. Like for real. She, nigga, she literally her and some niggas in Dallas were off the bank. She got away because they had snitched on them. But she literally robbed the bank. She was that. You feel what I'm saying? So allegedly, man. Allegedly. A, 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 my sister deceased. Oh, so God. you know what I'm saying? She deceased. So it don't matter whether it was allegedly or not. What they can't. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't. You know. And it's not to. You know. I ain't trying to put her in a, this light. But that's that's how. I, you know. My family knew it. My sister was that. She hung around niggas that was like that. So it was a nigga named Pappy. She found out. She told Pappy, mind you, I don't know nothing about this. Because I'm not sweating it. Before I knew it, man, that nigga went over there and checked every last one of them niggas. Because you got to stand in this area. And that area, your name in the streets meant something. 
you know, today, it don't matter. You, know, you, you can kill 10 niggas. That don't mean shit today. Niggas don't respect shit today. You know what I'm saying? Like they did back then. So when he came and checked that, man, he made all them niggas apologize to him. And I'm like, I'm looking like, what? But that was 01. So I went back, and I went back to Dallas, and then I came back in 08. And when I came back in 08, I moved to A. Lee Square, off Cook and Bel Air. You know what I'm saying? Now, mind you, I didn't know Cook. I didn't know A. Lee Square was like that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know it was like that. Coming from where I'm coming from, this look to me, this is like we upgrading. You feel me? Thank you much. And you're not. When you and you're not. And you're not. When you realize, like, uh, that's how you know you're from the south side of wherever you're from. Because, like, coming from the south side where I'm from, bro, too, it's like, yeah, what the fuck? The fuck they doing up here? Niggas gang banging. Yes. Gang-banging. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And see, that, and see, that's why I tell people, that's why I tell people about that respect thing, because I brought, I brought my homeboy down here. From Dallas, the one I told you I was cool with, and he was he was steady at that Dallas shit. Yeah, nigga, this Dallas, uh, uh, Ferguson, nigga, clear, ooh. and I tell him, say my nigga, stop doing that shit. Man, these niggas gotta know. I say, say my nigga, these niggas, niggas fuck. I say, bro, we in Houston. These niggas don't give a fuck. You see what I'm saying? See, my my young niggas, he was wild like that. He was the type of nigga that that, that was that would try to instill fear in people. But I tell them, I said, bro, don't do that. People don't think fear, bro. No. And you you know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, I'm I'm telling him, like, bro, because, like, one of my partners, one of my blood partners came up. He had came up because I had moved to another apartment. And, he, you know, he heard I was back over there. And I'm, I, I'm, I'm, at that time, I had stopped hustling for a little bit. Come here, my girl got it to us, CPS got it, our life and shit. So I stopped hustling a little bit just to, uh, until we get this shit taken care of and shit. So I told my partner, I said, shit, I'm sitting it down right now. So I'm in the house chilling. All I hear, all I hear a nigga say, nigga, I don't give a fuck about no motherfucking Dallas, nigga. It's ice time around here, nigga. I come outside, I'm like, man, what the fuck going on? He said, my partner said, man, you know this nigga? I said, yeah, this my nigga. What's up? He's like, oh, my bad, bro. My bad, bro. And I had to tell him, I said, my nigga, didn't I just tell you stop saying that shit? You see what I'm saying? See, see, I done been in hoods, bro, to where I know nigga, they don't give a fuck about that shit. You feel what I'm saying? They don't care about it. Just like if you come, you could be a stiff nigga in Houston and you go to Dallas. They don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's just like when, you know, it's just like when I was, niggas used to come to Dallas to East Texas. Say, my nigga, this, you got to respect the land. You know what I'm saying? What you did in Dallas, you can't bring that shit down here because we ain't going to fall for it, homie. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it, and so that's what I used to have to tell him, but he didn't understand. You see what I'm saying? He didn't understand that. He called me one day. He on Braisewood. You a crib. Oh, bro. Fuck is you on Braisewood for? Man, these blood niggas trying to get me, bro. I said, <laughs> shit, what the fuck you want me to do? Because I told you. You see what I'm saying? My kid, for like, one thing about me, bro, I'm like this, my nigga. Like, if I'm with you and you tell me to chill, I'm chilling. Yeah. Because you, you feel what I'm saying? Because you know this area more. Than, you taking me to your hood, right? I might not know the law of the land over here. You do. So if you tell me, say, bro, don't do that shit, my nigga. These niggas don't play like that. I'm not going to be like, man, fuck these niggas. I'm going to be like, shit, respect. Because I understand so that nigga. Get to where you need to go, bro. Yeah. What's, what's all right, bro? All right, bro. And hop out and burn out. Don't don't get to know a nigga too long, bro. Yeah, hey. dude. Nigga, that nigga said, bro, what the blood shot up with that nigga? Man, hey, I, he, man, nigga, I said, bro, I told you don't go over there. You see what I'm saying? We're we'll like, move back to Dallas. See, yeah, he ended up going. He 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 ended up going. You know what I'm saying? Back to Dallas. Now I don't know. Scared shit, but just going because, you know, he was doing too much, bro. Like, and I, you know, you know me, bro. You know me before this. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I'm laid back cool, bro. I ain't looking. You ain't the partner. Yeah. 
to go out with and try to squabble. <laughs> but, but, I remember the first time I met this nigga, right? I was in the mile and I used to mess with this crazy bitch. I, always, <laughs> I used to mess with this crazy bitch. So I'm like, look, bro, look. So a nigga, a nigga can't, I don't know, but I was, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna just be real. That's what my tab day is. But yeah. man, I'm off the tab angry to the bitch, you feel me? Mm-hmm. That, nigga, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga started talking to that bitch. Why I started texting that nigga? I thought like two niggas. The boy is on line. Bro, 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 yeah, I'm here. I said, "Is I lying, bro?" Nah, nah, you ain't lying. And, and, and you know what? You know why I, I I told you to chill because bro. he because he, I was like I was like, bro, that he was he he didn't, he didn't want it, dog. He didn't want it, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He didn't want it with you, dog. That's why I was like, bro. Hey, 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 <laughs> this is the first time I beat this bitch. First time. You know, first time. Hey, like, hey, like, hey, you know, first, is, first, what they say, first impression is everything. You know? everything. Look, I fucked look, up that day. Look, <laughs> look, I told old girl, I say, man, what the fuck is you got me coming around, man? I ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had to, like, because I'm like, man, what the hell is it? He, you was turned like a mother, oh, bro, like, we was in what? That was short time all. That was short time all, bro. I'm like, what the, I'm like, what? Because I'm looking. I'm like, man, let that shit go. Boy, you wasn't trying to hear. You was on 10, boy. I was like, God damn. Yo, yo, yo. Mm-hmm. No, nah, bro, I ain't been, bro. I'm cool like a, a cool cup now, nigga. I, bro, when I look at myself back in the days, bro, I was like doing a time shit and slap the shit out of myself. What the fuck you got going on? What the fuck you got going on, nigga? Hey, you know, all this time you wasting. Yo. I was having so much time back then, bro. But, bro, I'm telling you, that, that, they don't know how deep this shit is. Yeah. So when this nigga talking, babe, then I said, this nigga is really from out there. Yeah. So, so when you got a nigga, he, but, man, you know, I listen to his shit. You know what I'm saying? You remember I listen to his shit, and then I called him back. I said, okay, but I like your shit, bro, because people is not telling stories. People is not shooting messages. Don't think these niggas doing it wearing these big old chains, bro. Right. But, so, you know, I, I, I come from that era where the song was a, you know what I'm saying? It was a message. You see what I'm saying? So I don't know no other, like, I come from Brenda Got a Baby. You know what I'm saying? I, I come from, from, uh, 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 the big, the biggest smiles. You know what I'm saying? When he telling the whole story about where the old boy came, came at the, came in the door. He, and he like, hey, you better talk to him for a lead. You know what I'm saying? Cause like, I come from that. So it's like, that, that is what uplifted me. You see what I'm saying? It was a time that I was going through it. You know what I'm saying? Like, really going through it. Like, really, like, feeling like like my sister just passed. You know what I'm saying? I'm in Oak Cliff. Ain't no love being shown. Family feel like I ain't, they ain't showing me no love. But, you know, I was fucking up, too. You know how when you fucking up. Family fuck with you, but damn, you keep fucking up. I can't keep helping you, nigga. You grown. So, I'm going through it. And I'm driving, I'm driving, uh, 20 going toward uh going going to Dallas cuz I'm leaving all of and going into uh Oak Cliff to, to uh my partner house and nigga I'm in tears I'm really feeling like giving up bro like real time I'm really feeling like you know what I'm saying my sister just paid my brother paid my homeboy paid man and everybody out that was really there ain't here no more and I was really feeling down and they said brand new exclusive R&B, keep on pushing. Man, when I heard that song, bro, I was in tears, and I swear that song motivated me to keep on pushing. You see what I'm saying? It motivated me. Sometimes you don't understand that you could be in a messed up mind state and fucked up, and that song with that message will wake you up, will give you the strength to keep on pushing. And I put this on everything I love. That's one of my favorite songs. Every time I hear that song, I go back to that day when I felt like giving up. And Bum B say, it don't matter what you're going through. Just keep on pushing. 
man, that song is one of my favorites, bro. So that's why when I make a song, it has to have a message. You see what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell everybody like this. I'm like a master P rapper. I'm not a lyricist. You know what I'm saying? I I, I ain't no, I ain't that type of rapper. Don't get me on no cypher. I ain't that. But I can make a song to make you listen and get a message out of it. So every song that I make, I make it with a message. I make it with something that somebody or I done been through. You know what I'm saying? Like I have one song that say, uh, don't tell me what your nigga did. I'll probably do it too. That's a message. Tell me what your nigga did. Oh, um, tell me what your nigga did. I'll probably do it too. You know, like how that woman, she's upset with you. So she confiding in this nigga. Thank you. Thank you that he's listening. But I don't know why would you understand? He just don't say what you want to hear to get what he wants. You feel me? And then now that he got, yeah, so now he got them cheeks and you feeling like, oh, I found one. And you done left for that nigga. He got one, nigga. And he, yeah, and he doing you worse than what I was doing. You see what I'm saying? So it's like stuff like that that. I have to come up with a song like that. If I don't come up with a song like that, I won't make it because there's no message behind it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got one song. My first video I ever did is called She Won't Leave Me Alone. She won't leave me alone. She keep calling my phone. You know what I'm saying? It's that girl that you, and the, and the, it's the girl that you met one night and had a one night stand with. She fell in love with you. But you always told her, girl, I got a girl. You know what this was. You know what I'm saying? That's, what I'm saying. That's some straight barbecue music, nigga. Right. That's straight barbecue. That's some straight barbecue, bro. That's, bro. that's, that's some black exotic hoes, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know what I'm saying? My, yeah. my dad, my dad from Louisiana. So I got Louisiana in my blood. I got man, I got a bunch of family in Baton Rouge. I don't know them like that, cause you know my daddy wasn't around like that. But them, yeah, I got Louisiana in me too. You see what I'm saying? So, so it, it's Louisiana, it's Louisiana, and Texas. You know what I'm saying? In my blood. That's why a lot of me, like back in the day, like I snap and you know, I do something mean. My mom's like, boy, like, boy, you just like your daddy, people. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause it's, it's like, I'll be cool and I'm like pissing out disrespectful and I'm just, I'm going, I'm going left. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I, that's why I, that's why I had to, I started thinking more than I started reacting. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, usually the cool guy, usually the cool guy that, um, is the coolest vote is the ones who really see you to a, 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 a medical institution. Oh, they gonna send your bitch ass to a grave, bro. I, what I learned as as we got as I got older, getting older, bro, I realized even though you know that you can be on some other shit, you have to be on the cool shit. You feel me? Yeah. So, so one thing about the whole situation is what I'm gonna tell you is, bro. It's like everything you said is coming from the age range that we are. When we exactly. was young, when we was young, you know what I'm saying. Right, cause when we met each other, we were still semi-young, you feel me? Right. So, so you know what I'm saying? So, how we all did, we, we not like that now, because we start to learn life. And what, and you know what I'm saying? When you when the student becomes a teacher, bro, everything becomes like vivid. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie to you, but I don't want to cap this. Um, I don't want to cap this at like an hour, so I'm gonna cap it at 37 minutes and 26 seconds. So we can just drop it so I can drop it today. It'll be out, bro. Um, I'm going to leave all this in there. Tell people where they can find you at, bro. Oh, uh, you can find me on, uh, you can find me on, uh, YouTube. I got a YouTube page that I'm, I'm up and, uh, up and running. It's called Big Facts, B-I-G-F-A-X-T with a dollar sign. Uh, you can find me on YouTube. You can find me on, uh, TikTok, it's uh, LeBron, personally, L-A-B-R-O-N, personally, P-U-R-S-L-E-Y. Or you can find me on Instagram, it's uh, LeBron Day 23. You know what I'm saying? So you can find me on those three spots. I'm I'm a up-and-coming artist just trying to get out, get it off the ground. You know what I'm saying? And uh, 
I feel like, you know, hey, man, I'm I'm, I'm that person that I feel like if you want a message, you want to hear something, you want to hear motivating music, you want to hear sad music, you know, like I got a, you know, I have a, a song uh, about my sister, you know what I'm saying, how I miss her and stuff like that. Like, it's all types of stuff, emotional, uh, uh, you know, uh, good spirited, but I try to, I'm not, I'm, I stay away from anything too negative. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it is. When I say what am my cool pockets, bro, like if I see a man, bro, that means somebody to take his money out of his new for nigga. Nigga ain't going <laughs> nigga ain't going nigga ain't gonna ever be mad about a motherfucking thing. I've been doing this for multiple years. You feel me? I look, this how we gonna wrap it out. Um, bro, you, I'm gonna send you the link and stuff. I'm gonna hit you with okay. um, after I end this, bro. All right, bro. All right. All right. Conclusion for the podcast episode. That wraps up today's episode of the Mind Your Business TV phone call podcast with Big Fred. A big shout out to Big Facts for sharing his story, his journey in rap, and the life lessons behind his music. It's not just about the beats, it's about the message, and he's definitely got one worth listening to. If you want to check out Big Facts music or follow him on Instagram, just scan the QR codes displayed on the picture in this video. Stay connected, stay inspired, and keep supporting real stories and real voices. Until next time, this is Big Fred signing off. And remember, mind your business and keep grinding. Lit. Swear.